Hi. So today we're going to add pictures to our product catalog so that we can see what the different products look like. So let's get started. So the goal is going to be to add a link to add pictures and add a controller method to upload these pictures to our product catalog. So let's start by adding a hyperlink. Um, which will allow us to upload a picture. So let's call this uh, method add picture. And uh, we'll still pass a product ID. And um, let's just say use primary as the style for the button. And now add a picture. Okay, so just a, a quick hyperlink. Let's see what this looks like just to get an idea so we would have a, a button we could press to add a picture and we would need to have a controller method in our product controller to add this picture and this controller method is going to be called add picture so we start with the public function add picture for a product id um, as usual, we will have two situations um, in our in our method. Uh, the first situation is going to be uh, whether we are receiving form input and the other one is whether we are not receiving form input, in which case we want to present the form to input the information from the user side. So this view um, product slash add picture is the view we would want to call here. So let's create this view. Let's make a new file, save it, add picture dot PHP. And uh, let's use the create view as a template for this add picture, perfect. Now, what we want to add is add a picture. Add a picture. Okay, now the form is going to be different. We're still gonna have a method post for this form. However, we want to uh, enable the form to send the files. So we need to use ink type to express that we want to encrypt, uh, encode the information sent uh, with uh, attachments, just like email attachments. So multipart slash form dash data is the ink type we need to use for any form which uploads information. Okay. So let's use a form group now. So file or picture. Okay, the type is going to be file. The name new picture. This is still going to be a form control and that's going to be our form group. So uh, for the other, uh, the other uh, inputs, the description uh, makes sense. Maybe we want to have a description for this picture. So let's leave it in and let's get rid of price. So now uh, let's just uh, change the uh, value of the submit button to uh, add picture. Great. And we return to the product index if we cancel. So let's save this. We are going to have a, a file upload form, which is going to appear as a result of calling this view. Now let's look at our product controller. Um, we are going to receive the new picture file. So we're going to check if we're receiving this file. So is set underscore files, the files collection, and we're looking for new picture. So if this is set, then we are receiving the file. Now it doesn't mean that the file was properly uploaded. So we're going to check that it was properly uploaded by verifying that the error message 
that comes with this file is that the um, upload error is okay. So in other words, there is no error. Okay, now, um, the thing that we want to verify is that the file is part of the allowable types and that it is indeed an image. So a little bit of security going on here. So the first thing we want to do is get the information from get image size and we're going to provide a file name for this and the file name is files uh, for new picture a field tmp name so this gets us the image size information if the uh, file is not an image then info will be false so we have to check if info is false well then that means that you know this is no go so we're gonna return maybe uh, the uh, picture view with an error message something like um, error is equal to or error is um, bad file format okay now let's add this error into our add picture view we would want to we would want to have some PHP code in a block stating that if is set data error then we would want to display this error the right thing to do is to display this error inside the proper div format from bootstrap so um, let's have a look at what this proper format is again so bootstrap alert if you look up bootstrap alerts you probably want to use the danger alert type which is alert alert danger class like so so I'm just gonna take that and use it in my application this is what I want to use and now let's just have some output echo this data error or maybe just use an output like so great okay now we also want to verify that the file is part of the allowed types so what are the allowed types let's actually make an array of allowed types so I would want to only accept uh, JPG, PNG, and GIF files. Okay, so there are some types that I can get out of the uh, info array, which is returned by get image size, and these types are all uh, constants that look as follows: image 
type underscore and then you know for instance jpeg and there's another one for png and another one for gif so png and gif great so these can be my three types and I also want to use these types to actually um, force extensions on the files themselves as a security measure. So dot JPG. Dot PNG. And dot GIF. Okay. So else if info and now you would need to read the documentation to know that we're looking for uh, info two. We want to verify that info two is part of these keys. So we're going to write not array key exists for the key which is going to be info2 inside the array which is allowed types so if this does not exist again this is no go and we might want to say that um, bad file format maybe uh, not an accepted file extension or file type. Great. So otherwise, everything's good. So now we can actually save the picture into our file folders. So let's imagine we have an images folder under htdocs so if you don't have one make one so for instance let's just imagine i don't have such a folder i go under htdocs and i make a new folder called images and now i do have the images folder we are going to save the picture in the images folder Good. So the way to do this is by basically uh, generating a string, which is going to be the path. And this is going to be from get CWD, which gets the current working di uh, directory. And we are going to append this to directory separator, which is going to get the correct separator for this operating system. I'm going to copy this because we need it twice. And between these two, uh, I'm going to put in images, which is the name of my folder. So I'm going to have, say, a lead uh, forward slash if this is a Unix system, a Linux system, and a backslash if this is a Windows system. OK, so this is the path. And now I need a file name, which is going to be unique ID I use unique ID because it generates a random string which doesn't get generated twice in this system it's based on the clock as far as I understand this and we are going to add the allowed types the file extension from allowed types based on what the value of info two is so dollar info Two. Okay, so in other words, unique ID dot JPG, unique ID dot PNG, or dot GIF. Okay, now that we have this, we need to save the uploaded file. Move uploaded file. Now we're going to get the file from its temporary location. So that's files, new picture. 
its temporary location is TMP name. And now its destination is going to be path concatenated to file name. I'm holding on to the file name as is because I wish to save this to my database. 